Wrightsville kids, I'm Pastor Julia. Today I have a couple of things with me. I have, let's see, do you know what this is? I bet you do. This is a broom and a dustpan. And I also have some cleaning wipes. Do you ever use things like this or maybe a vacuum or a mop or maybe a Windex and paper towels to help clean the house? Have you ever helped clean the house where you are? Maybe you help with sweeping like this. That's actually kind of fun. Or you spray something in a bottle and wipe it down. You know, it's good to keep your house clean. Have you ever had a time when you realized that you really needed to do some cleaning? Maybe you realized that all of your dishes were in the sink and you didn't have any to take down from the cabinets and you know you need to clean. Or maybe if your parents came into your bedroom to wake you up and they couldn't even find you because there was so much stuff everywhere, well then you'd know you needed to clean too. Well, did you know that there's a story in the Bible where Jesus realized that he needed to do some cleaning? Jesus went into the temple, which is kind of like our church. And when he was there, he was really upset with what he saw. Now, it wasn't that he saw a bunch of dust bunnies or a bunch of dirt on the windows, but instead he saw people who were selling things and who were keeping people from coming into worship unless they had enough money. And that made Jesus really, really upset. You know how maybe you feel if all of a sudden everything feels icky around you? Ugh! That's how Jesus felt. And so he started cleaning, except for what that meant for him was that he told all of the people who were there selling things and making things difficult, he said that they all needed to leave. I wonder, I wonder what Jesus was thinking in that time. I wonder how he felt. I wonder if you've ever felt angry or frustrated like that. I'm so glad that Jesus was there to clean everything up because that meant that the temple and places like this, our church, became a place again where everyone can be together. And I'm very glad about that. Let's say a prayer together. Dear God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for protecting us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.